All right, here we have a uh, Dell Inspiron 5493, as you can see here. And uh, this has an i5 10th generation CPU in it. And uh, what we're going to do is pull it apart and uh, disassemble it and see what is inside. To do that, we have to pull out the screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so let's look for a pry point around the edges here. I don't see one. Nope, but I do see that this isn't clipped in properly, so I'm just gonna pull from here. If I didn't, I would just get my pry tool and I would pull it out. Credit card will work fine too. There we go. All right, so let's go over it. We've got two speakers, we have a battery, we have a memory slot. This is eight gig is what this one shipped with. A second slot, which is nice, it's unpopulated. We can use that. It has, uh, there's your CPU. Well, there's the CPU fan, heat pipe, and uh, underneath there's the CPU. There's a slot here for uh, a uh, standard uh, SATA drive uh, connected on SATA bus. Let's pull the battery out. By the way, I'm just using a standard Phillips screwdriver, nothing too exciting. This one's just small, it's easier to handle. Uh, it has a nice magnetic tip, but you don't need that. Is that all of the connections? Yeah, there's a clip here, but it just slides in. Yeah, it feels pretty loose. There it is. And there's the uh, battery connector there. Really what I want to see here is the um, trackpad connector. We're having some troubles with it and uh, I'm not happy. So what I'm going to do is just release it and then reattach it. Yeah, so this just has a little door. You probably can't see that, but eh, I'll lift it up and show you. So this just has a little door and I'm just going to flip that down and clip it back in. Lift it up, there we go. So make sure that's in tight. This one has the same on the ribbon. I'll just make sure that's in tight. The, uh, there's an M.2 drive here. Let's just pull this off so you can look at it. Well, that's certainly not what I expected. <laughs> there it is. So that's a, uh, what's that, a 2240 or 2242. That's, um, that's as small as they come. So, um, yeah, well, I could put a full-size M.2 in there. If I was to uh, change the drive, which I might, I would put in a Crucial P1. Uh, the Crucial P1s are awesome, and for, if I get a terabyte, uh, like the driver's just showing you, for, oh, 130 Canadians. So, all right, let's pop this back in. Well, the only other thing I want to say about the inside here and about this case is that while it's fine, this is certainly not the same build quality as the Inspirons. And I can see here that this is actually assembled by somebody called Nemco, who, who, I, don't, uh, who I don't know. So... Um, just take that, keep that in mind if you're thinking that this is the same as uh, corporate grade stuff, it isn't. This is a plastic back, which is just fine. By the way, it's very light. It's not like it's a big deal. Okay, so I'm going to screw this in, then we're going to go around the ports. I'm going to fire it up. This corner is not going down, and I don't know why, so I'm going to lift this up. Obviously, it was like it from the factory, so something's not right there. Let's find out what. Screw. I'm going to pull this screw out. So I'm going to try to put this on first. Let's see if I get that to clip in nicely or not. Before I do anything else. There, that seems to be a nice one. Okay. Okay, so let's go around the outside. We have an SD card slot, 
we have a USB slot, now that's an old USB 2 slot. We have a uh, lock slot, which very few people use. And over here we have power, we have an HDMI, we have network, you can see that that just opens up. We have a su two super speed slots, in other words, two USB 3s, and a headphone jack. And a power light. All right, so as you can see, we've got uh, Windows 10 1909 installed and uh, we've ignored the Dell build, we've wiped this out so it's down to the actual, uh, you know, real software without any garbage on it. And uh, we are going to patch this as you can see and then we're going to run NovaBench on it and benchmark it. All right, so this machine is now ready to go. It's been patched, BIOS updated, firmware is all done, Windows is happy. I have turned uh, the wireless network keen off and I'm going to turn off uh, Defender next. And let's get to benchmarking. I've already downloaded and installed NovaBench. I'm going to run through this three times. I'm not going to make you wait. Okay, so let's take a quick look here. This score is uh, much better than a spinning disk, uh, better than a standard SSD, but it is far from stellar at, that, at the, those kinds of speeds. I'll put up a comparison to a similar device, a similar laptop with a Crucial P1, which uh, again is this uh, cheap uh, disk. It's not an expensive gaming drive or anything silly like that, just a standard disk. But the bottom line is this machine is more than capable and lovely and fast for uh, the money. This machine was about, uh, eh, on sale, it was about $800 Canadian. Yeah, that's an okay price for this. So, if you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.